It's a brand new season, so things are gonna look much different in this year's Toyota one-on-one, but it's okay. We're still riding with the Jet Jarek McKinnon, hanging out with us for the first episode of our 49ers Toyota one-on-one. Jet, how's it going? How are you? Where are we off to? Uh, it's been smooth. Uh, just finishing up Thursday's practice. Um, headed to the crib right now. Got out uh, a little earlier than usual, so it gives us more time to, you know, uh, get what we need uh, to make sure our bodies are right for Sunday. So. I'm just going home, going to take care of the body and uh, lay low for a little bit. Not mad at it at all, but you know, we have to talk about the obvious, and that is your first game back on the field, your 49ers uh-huh. day two on Sunday. What were your emotions like getting on the field? Um, yeah, I, it's really hard to kind of put it into words, but it definitely did feel good waking up Sunday morning, knowing that, you know, I'm going to actually be able to play in the game versus, you know, the last two years where you know, I haven't been able to play and it's more rehab and stuff like that. So being able to wake up and, you know, being blessed and fortunate enough to know that I'm going to be able to play a game and finally um, get to play a game with the guys that I came here to play with, you know, these coaches and all that stuff. So, you know, it definitely was a relief. All right. So not only was it your first game with the 49ers, but also you scored your first touchdown as a member of the 49ers. But you also handed the ball off to one of the old linemen. Was it Trent Williams? Who did you hand the ball off to? to- do a I had it, I handed it out to uh, Lakin. I seen last year, uh, you know, after a lot of touchdowns, you know, the running backs was letting the old lineman spike it, and um, I thought that was kind of a cool thing, you know, just camaraderie and stuff like that throughout the team. And uh, it was definitely one of the things that I wanted to do once I got back. So, uh, you know, the, the first touchdown for me was just kind of celebrating with the guys. You know, those guys, you know, they see me battling, you know, the injuries and all that stuff, and uh, you know, they've been right there with me the whole way. So, so, you know, I just wanted to really just celebrate with my teammates and uh, you know, just let them know that, you know, they're, they're special to me as well. All right, what about the ball? Did you hang on to it? Is it at yeah, I got the ball. Yeah, nah, you know I got the ball. Actually, Kittle ran off with the ball and gave it to uh, to Doc to keep for me after the game. So, shout out to Kittle for, you know, making sure I got that ball. You know, Kittle's is a leader, great teammate, uh, you know, great guy, great personality. So. Definitely a special shout out to Kittle for helping keep that ball. Give me a little bit of the vibe of this running back group. I'm going to throw Juice in there too. So tell me about each guy and how their personality makes this group click. <laughs> um, you know, this running back group is very unique. Um, you know, I've, I've never been part of a running back group that had you know this much speed, um, overall athleticism. And, you know, we really got a lot of guys that can do pretty, you know, pretty much everything that the coaches ask from us, you know, it's catching, running, uh, running routes. Uh, you know, Raheem, you know, definitely had a, a strong end towards the last season. And then, you know, he was able to build off that. And then, you know, came out week one and really just, you know, um, you know picked up where he left off last year. And, uh, you know, he's, he's starting to, you know, become, you know, more of a leader. And you could tell, you know, the way he moves, the way he talks in meetings. Uh, and stuff like that, and then Juice. I mean, I don't think it's I don't think it's anything that Juice doesn't know about the offense. You know, we out there walkthroughs, and he's telling him, you know, some of the wide outs, you know, oh, you need to be here, or you know, he's you know he's he's adjusting the receivers, so it's like, you know, Juice is kind of like a quarterback, really, in a sense. Then you got you know you got Tico, you got Tevin. Uh, he's a little bit more quiet, unless you're in the room. You know, what I'm saying unless you're part of the group. Then you understand, you know, his character and, you know, what he brings to the table. But, you know, that's my boy. He's a great guy, great personality. So glad glad to be around him for sure. Um, you got Jermichael Hasty, who's a rookie. He's a little bit more quieter. He's probably the quietest one out of everybody. But, um, you know, still trying to find his way. But, um, you know, when you watch him play, the, his athleticism definitely sticks out. Um, I can't think of a guy who's, you know, more shiftier lateral than, you know, a guy like that. And you got Josh Hokey, he's another rookie. Um, and, you know, Bobby T always says he's like baby juice. And you can see the athleticism in him when we go through individual drills and stuff like that. And then he's starting to pick up on offense and, you know, get everything. He's in Juice's shadow. So, you know, that's that's not a bad shadow to be in. Right. Um, and then, am I leaving somebody else? You got Jeff Wilson, my boy Hefe. Um, and, you know, I can't really just tell you how proud I am. Proud I am seeing him, you know, how he was day one to progression to, you know, the pro he is now. Just the way he carries himself. Uh, you know, 
he's definitely learned a lot about, you know, treating his body, taking care of himself and stuff like that. And um, he's become more vocal the longer he's been here. So it's a very unique group. It's a very um, explosive group. And, um, you know, it's a, very, it's a group that I'm really, 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 really proud to be a part of and, um, you know, call my brothers to life. That was a really great breakdown of the entire running backs group. I didn't expect you to be that in depth, but I appreciate that. That was great. Yeah, that was my boys right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back and during your time at Georgia Southern, you actually played quarterback too, right? Yeah, yeah. Can Jarek yeah. McKinnon still sling it? I got it a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't through in a minute. Um, but. You know, I stay at the practice. I mess around a little bit and throw a little bit, but I can still sing. I can still sling it a little bit, you know. Ooh, okay, all right, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going deep. I'm going for the home runs. What's the mindset of this team? Of you know, coming off of that week one loss, preparing for now this Jets team. Uh, you know, the, the message, especially a special team, is just been respond. Uh, you know, we know what type of team we are. We know what type of players we got. You know, we know what we're capable of, capable of. and um, you know, we, obviously everybody else wants more and don't doesn't want to come away with a loss. But um, you know, just respond. That's the that's the, that's the key factor. Champions respond, and um, you know, it's like we got a lot of good character, but not a lot of good character guys. Uh, a lot of athletic guys, the guys who can make plays. So just respond, and uh, you know, find a way to come out with a win. Jarek, appreciate having you. You finish your drive, get to your destination safely, and uh, we are so excited to see what you do on Sunday. I appreciate that. It's gonna be a good one. Everybody tune in. Like Corn about to be legendary, yeah. Hey Faith, click here to subscribe. <laughs>